previously on Surviving Sliptopia. I was thinking about starting a new project because we have some problems. So the enchanting clam, I mean the enchanting tree. Somebody in the comments called it the enchanting clam. So then I started thinking about redstone tree farms and I saw, said you know, to myself, I said, uh, self, we're gonna need some bones. And we have some bones, but we're gonna need a lot of bones. What is up the world that is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here and I hope you guys are having a good Thursday. Um, we got 3,000 subscribers on the channel. So yeah, that's pretty rad. I don't know if I mentioned it the other day. This happened a couple of days ago. Um, and just under uh, 3,000 and a bunch of people put out some nice tweets and King Daddy DMAC uh, threw a like on a video and then all of a sudden, pow, I hit 3,000. And uh, it was really cool. So thank you guys all very much. And I'm um, really excited about it. We'll probably do like a 3,000 subscriber special, but I thought maybe we might, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to figure something out, but not today. So today we're going to be working on the tree farm and talk about some other stuff and things. So um, I had told everybody in the last episode that I had uh, fixed the texture pack and turned it into a resource pack. So you might see here that these stone bricks are um, not correct. Stone brick looks wrong. Um, I spent about an hour and a half last night trying to figure this out. The stone brick texture is correct in my resource pack. My CTM folder actually deleted it. So CTM is the um, when you have like multiple textures for a single block like glass or uh, something like that. So I took the CTM folder out. All the configs for the CTM are gone. I replaced the stone brick uh, texture, uh, mirrored it, the name correctly, did everything that I could, looked all through the texture pack everywhere, cannot find a duplicate texture anywhere. Um, I don't know. I have no idea why this is like that. If somebody wants to download the resource pack, you can message me on YouTube. If you can figure it out, I would love for you guys to help me because this does not match my world and I can't figure out what's going on. But so today, we're going to be working on a tree farm. So I had said that I need a lot of bone meal um, and I wanted to build an automated redstone tree farm. And I started looking into it and I started thinking about it. And one of the things, one of the problems with a redstone tree farm, uh, one that uses like a bud switch, to uh, update a block and then and it pushes all the wood out and it pushes it all on the big line and all that. And one of the problems with that is that you don't really collect any saplings that way. So um, what I thought we'd do today is kind of mark out an area where um, we would start to build a regular, kind of like an old school tree farm, just like something that that works. And I was going to use a lot of bone meal and I don't think I'm going to use a lot of bone meal. I was going to use dispensers and stuff like that. but. If you, end up, if you use dispensers on the bone meal, you end up having to put hoppers on, and then, like, basically it kind of ruins the uh, your ability to have drops come down into, like, a water stream or something like that, and it's a big pain in the butt. So, um, I thought maybe we'd just kind of go a little bit old school. So, we're going to build a stairway up from here, and uh, so our stairwell will come up, and then we'll be like, oh, we're going to go get some wood today. <laughs> and then over here will be our tree arm. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of going to be the plan. So let me take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, uh, yeah, right here. Perfect. Well, actually, I probably could use those. So, yeah, that's kind of going to be what we're going to be doing today. So um, to start off, I'm going to actually head over to the Emporium, grab some supplies, start working on it, and uh, I'll be right back with you. And we're back. All right, so um, yeah, this is kind of what we're going to be doing. We walk up here, and then this is going to be our farming area place thing, doodler. And uh, actually, these will be all gone. We don't need those guys. I just kind of laid out a smooth stone foundation just to see what it, you know, the spacing and stuff. But we're going to probably change that. I have an idea for this, but uh, as far as what it's going to look like. But yeah, so it's just going to be something that's re really simple like this where there's a tree where each one of these torches are. But I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do something kind of hoppery. So I put a three block space in between each tree and a three block space in between uh, each, each lane, so to speak. Um, and... Um, so I want to do water, but what I'm thinking about doing is doing some... Actually, you know what? Let me grab that. Let's make a little yummy water source right here. So um, I was thinking about doing something like this. 
and then what I think we're gonna do is at the end of each one of these yeah this is gonna work um, we might do lines of hoppers so I'm thinking that we'll get some hoppers because what I'd like to do is have the water sources pushed down into hoppers um, just to give it a little bit of automation and then have everything pump into from each lane have it each pump into one of these into these chests here so I think that's what we're gonna end up doing I think that'll work pretty good um, and it does involve a bit of automation in redstone which is fun so but some other things that I noticed is that one of the things that I noticed or um, that I'm out of is I'm like completely um, out of redstone or not redstone I said glowstone so I'm completely out of glowstone and um, that's not good um, and that actually oh I need to uh, pick this up I need you to be gone because we're gonna change we're gonna change the underneath of that um, but yeah I'm completely out of glowstone so that means that it's time to go to the nether and farm some glowstone um, we just still don't have the witch farm done yet so we can't go to witch haven and get our free glowstone so we have to go to the uh, nether and get our free glowstone yeah so let's do that Ugh. Okay, we're here in the nether. I actually went out. That's the tunnel that comes out to the um, to the quartz farm I have out here. And uh, yeah, so here we are. And uh, uh, this is gonna be a little bit dangerous, but um, that's the part of the fun. And super scared right now. Did I miss you? Did I miss that real? Uh, no. So um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've had to come out and, and get glowstone. Um, and I'm always a little bit freaked when I'm out here because it's pretty freaky. Yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. No! Oh, .com. Um, is there... Okay, there's a block under here. No! Oh, I'm missing so many. I need a coin of fortune really bad. No! .com. Oh. Oh, I got you. Should I? I don't think I'm gonna pearl down there. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't think I'm gonna go down and grab those. Just a couple. Ah, I almost fell off the edge of the nether rack. All right. So actually, you know, this is gonna take probably take a little bit of time. Um, I might just hang out here, grab a couple stacks. And uh, then I'll meet you back over at the canvas, and we'll uh, yeah we'll get the tree farm going a little bit more. No. Oh. Okay, so here's kind of sort of the beginnings is of what's going to be going on. So we got our water sources over here, and we got some hoppers and some signs and some water sources and some hoppers and some signs. So yep, every eight blocks, then we have these hoppers. These hoppers all point into this guy. They all go down there. These point into this guy. They go down there. This point into that guy like that. All the way down to the end here. And uh, as you can see, this hopper is working great. We already got some dirt and signs in there. It's perfect. So um, yeah, now I'm going to do that to the rest of these guys. I have some iron smelting right now so I can build some more hoppers. It took about a little over a half a stack to do one side so it's gonna be actually a lot of resources I hope I have enough resources to do all of this um, and I'm pretty sure I got enough um, glowstone um, that shouldn't be an issue so I'm gonna get the rest of the bottom of this filled out and then I'll be back and show you guys the the next stage thing a doodler all right I need iron all right guys so we got quite a bit I got quite a bit of stuff and things done and I thought I was trying to kind of show you the beginnings is so I got all the uh, water stream set up and all the hopper set up and they're all working uh, pretty pretty good if you can see here there's a whole bunch of stuff and things in there so I just got done changing the outline the uh, oop, the outer area uh, into birch I think we go with birch here but I have an idea for the the shell of this thing it'll be a little bit different it's gonna be cool so uh, pretty straightforward you're just gonna you can just run down here hold down your mouse button Plant all your birchy trees like so. Miss one, go back, plant it. That'll happen all the time. But yeah, then you just bone meal them like, like so in a line on your way back. 
and uh, they bone meal up pretty good. Some of them take a little bit more like that one, and some of them take a little bit less. Not like that one. Like that one. But um, it takes a good amount of bone meal. And then um, I placed uh, slabs up here, and I put some glowstone up top just because I just got done harvesting some. So I had a bunch, and um, I thought it would be cool. It wasn't for spawns or anything. I just think it'll make it look good in the end. But, uh, yeah, so the slabs are on the ninth block. So there's eight air blocks, and the ninth block is a slab. And that's to stop the trees from growing into that, like, those super trees. Like, the super oak trees that are uh, more powerful. The level two oak trees. But, yeah, so just head down like this, and then you just harvest all these guys like so. And it uh, works out pretty good. On the other side here, I will put a little bit of a lip so that you can walk around. Um most likely so you don't have to backtrack so like right here actually we can do this right now just right here there'll be a lip on this inside edge perfect so the outer wall will be here but uh, there'll be a little walkway right there for you but I don't think there'll be a walkway this will be the outer wall here and uh, yeah, there on the other side too. That this will be the outer wall here. So it all works really great. Um, there is some these trees getting stuck here, um, and like you can see, there's a block there. Some of the saplings are getting stuck right in the middle. I don't really care to be honest with you. There's going to be so many. Um, we're going to collect so many saplings from this. It doesn't really matter if a few are lost. It's actually probably a good thing that a few are lost. Just so that that way it doesn't clog up our system. So um, the next thing that we got to do is figure out how we're going to get the items into these chests. I want each row to automatically fill the chests. And so we need these chests to go away for now. And I do know that I am going to need to push the items up. So that means that we're going to need droppers. So, where's my food? There it is. Um, and it took a ton of hoppers. I don't even know how many it was. Three stacks probably of hoppers, a lot of iron. Um, thankfully, I had a lot saved up, so that was a good thing. We didn't have to really worry too much about running out of those resources. I did have to harvest a bunch of trees while I was doing my hopper stuff and uh, while I was cooking up iron because um, I didn't have enough wood to make the hoppers. So, um, yeah, uh, but we need droppers, and I don't know if I already has them. I has them, and I do think I'll need dispenser, dispenser, dispenser. Yeah, four droppers should do it. I still have a bunch of hoppers. We're going to need some redstone-y stuff, too. Let's put some of this stone away. And some of these birch saplings in here, just for gigs. And we got our grass down here. And some dirt. And I think that'll be good. That'll be, uh, we can put our signs away, too. So, um, yeah, what we're saying we're going to be needing, we'll need some redstone torches, not even close to that many. We don't need comparators. We might need some repeaters. Um, do, 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 do. And I think that'll be it. Hoppers. Da, 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 da. We got the hoppers. Oh, I'll need a block of redstone, one redstone block, I believe. Yeah, so I got a bunch of redstone-y stuff. And what I'm going to end up doing is building a silent um, timer down here. So I'll put a silent redstone hopper timer. Oh, I'll probably need comparators for that. All right, I'm going to get that. Some, uh, I'm going to get that stuff going, and uh, I'll get uh, yeah, get it in a little bit more of a finished form, and I'll come back. So apparently, my energized comparator texture is not correct looks great though you can tell it's on so um i have finished the little timer thing and this is a timer that i saw etho use but i've kind of modified it a little bit i didn't modify it i just took some parts off of it because i don't really need it to be that way the way that the it normally has like another comparator over here and i think it cycles for a little bit longer this just works a lot i don't know it works so it's what i did um but yeah got some uh little bit of wool so we can see there's a little bit of redstone here oh look at all that we should probably do have enough wool maybe probably don't even have enough wool so never mind uh we won't fix that guy but um we will be able to fill some of this stuff in here we don't need this to be all exposed and i wanted to fill it in while i have the uh, timer running just to make sure that activating the blocks any of the blocks next to 
the timer won't cause it to, to not work correctly. So let's just, let me see. We got some more redstone -y stuff. Oh, this is our way out right here. We got some more dirt, plenty. Eh, let's make sure. All right. Fill the rest of this bad boy in. Oh, fail. Well, it'll work for now, like so. All right, so we should have a bunch of stuff. Oh, I gotta make sure that works. You know what, before we fill it in, let's just double check to make sure everything's working the right way. So, um, we got chests, and what I decided to do is recess them into the floor. I think that'll look pretty cool. So, um, you'll kind of just walk over them. Uh, and then we need to get the rest of our chests here, here, and here. Like so. So then, let me see. Do we just not have any items? Let's take, and uh, oh, we are completely stuck now. So let's take and just drop some stuff into here. Let's uh, drop 17, just to make sure that we're measuring correctly. We're dropping 17 dirt. Drop some in there, drop some up here, drop some up here. All right, so we dropped our 17 dirt. And what I'm hoping is gonna happen uh, is that everything moves down to the end here, moves into there, hits the dropper, yep, see? And it moves up into the chest, cool, working. So it will take a second for everything to cycle up there, and because of the speed of the timer, I didn't want it to be super annoying if you were over here doing stuff. Um, I didn't want it to be ridiculously loud. So um, yeah, that's why I made it a little bit more quiet. Let me see, can we fill some of this stuff in? Make sure we're still getting our, our ticks. Looks good, looks good. And we should have our 17 dirt. Yep, yeah, right there, so that's working good. Cool. Um, so, I kinda like it. It's not, you know, the design's not super redstone-y, but it's not super not redstone-y, you know? And um, it didn't have to be, didn't have to be amazing. Um, and the automated farms are cool, don't get me wrong, like a redstone harvester, they're really rad, but um, you know what, just to make sure, I'll put a torchy there. We'll put some torches around, just to make sure, well, actually, you can cover that up. Stick a torch in there like so. Cover that up. Um... torch there so that's gonna have to be oh wrong have to be exposed and I'm out of dirt and I can't get out all right let's grab this guy get this all buttoned up Perfect. See what I did there? I accidentally left myself a perfect spot. Like so. And then uh, we'll just cover this guy up with these slabs. So, uh, and then we'll get some full blocks in here. Like so. So now, the items will just automatically filter up inside of these chests. And yeah, so the plan really for this is to kind of, we don't necessarily need to use tons of bone meal on it. We can just kind of plant and then wait for the trees to grow on their own. And then when they grow, we can come back and harvest them. And then like later on after that, we can come back and grab all the stuff and things that they drop. And uh, we'll just use, you know, like whatever, am I out of saplings? I left them all back at the thingy dealer. So um, at the Emborium. So, yeah, so then that way we can just kind of come back later and grab stuff and everything will get collected and yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I'm excited about this, but the next part, do you see that stray torch? That is unfortunate. Unfortunate. 
I don't know if I like that. I don't never see it. We'll never see it, will we? All right. So um, that that's the end of the video for today. We've had enough stuff and things. We gotta take some time to uh, we gotta space some stuff out here. And um, I'm going to on the next episode we're gonna build um, the upper part of the top of that, the shelf, so to speak, and kind of make it look sliptopia y make it look like it fits in the canvas. Not build a giant enchanting clam like I did uh, with the enchanting table. Why you hate my? Why do you hate me right now? Everyone's watching the canvas. Thank you. So, yeah, yeah. So, very, very cool. Thank you very much again for the 3,000 subscribers. Very much appreciate all you guys. Oh, look at that. It looks good. I like it. It's going to be a cool thing. So, yeah. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button, share, and favorite it as you see fit. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.